in controls natural, kind of anticipating the opportunity or the possibility that we could have drops back there. The Twilight Council just finishes up. We've got some Immortals coming out as well as four more sentries right now. So in control coming together with his own little army comp. We do see a scan there at the natural. Will spot pretty much all of in control's army at this point and it looks like a Another push could be inevitable. Now, I wonder if Select will just wait out here with the initial army or just go on in. And, uh, well, it looks like he's going to go ahead and fire right up this ramp. And it looks like he's advancing up. And, oh, in control has a much bigger force. Select getting a couple of those units pinched off with the force field. Backfire and lock off in control's own army. There's the target fire picking off a morphing building. One of the pylons does fall. Will Select lose one of these medevacs? does retreat safely in time and now is dropping the low ground for some more harassment. Yeah, I do not think he wanted to necessarily engage right there. Select doing a great job dropping his units off to the bottom. Gonna force field to try to trap those in, see if he can get the damage. The Immortals dancing around, not able to do anything there, so being somewhat ineffective. But I think one of the big losses there is that the Twilight Council, I believe it was researching Blink. That did have to be canceled and uh, he's gonna have to remake that. Cannot get ground or armor level two without that twilight council so again in control's entire build style focused around upgrades getting slowed and still hasn't gotten the chance to take his own third whether that trade was even or not for select it delayed that expansion so select is now going to get the chance to pull a little bit farther ahead we're going to have the stalkers moving up it looks like uh, pylon is going to be put down here the aggression may begin. Looks like that's not the case because we have another drop up here. The Marauders are going to move forward, try to take out as many of these probes as they possibly can. The Medivac there uh, sporting only 80 hit points. He's just going to go ahead and go right back into the main and keep this up. This time in control will be ready for it as the Medivac unit. Zealot's already in position. One Marauder going down. The last two will be picked up. 24 hit points on that Medivac. This is an awfully bold pylon placement by in control, planting it right at the front of Select's base, trying to make sure that he can start doing at least some counter-aggression. A fourth command center now going down for Select in control, finally getting that plus two, plus two upgrade started at those forges, finally starting to get close to having three bases up and running. And even though this looks like a terrible situation for in control, if he can get that big upgrade lead, he can easily win in a max versus max army battle. Three pylon coming out here for Select. Takes it out no problem. You can see Select's got several ghosts in his army. I think he's just got three right now. Uh, starting to uh, kind of pool that energy together. We'll have another scan and in control actually hiding several zealots over on the side that will not be seen by the scan. We do have Blink uh, on the way nearing completion and Charge is going to be coming out as well. In here again the uh, zealots are already there from in control so it'll be fairly ineffective here. And uh, do we have anything else going on? No. Nope, that was just uh, one of those singles. He's going to go ahead and use it off. Still saves that medevac and one marauder. And we're going to see those zealots return back to the army. Big spread on these units, fearing uh, that inevitable P, uh, uh, EMP coming out there by the Terran. And it looks like Select floating over his fourth command center, getting that started. Uh-oh, looks like in control trying to sneak a pylon in, but getting spotted, Select responds immediately, doesn't want any Dark Templar to do any damage to him, building a ton of barracks right now, we see that there are 90 SCVs out right now, for Select having a big, big lead in terms of economy, and even with those mules, we see in control is not actually as far behind as you might think. Looks like Select, though, is having so much money that he's even getting a fourth, fifth, sixth command center wow. for more bases. Wow, I mean, this is similar to what he did in the last game where he felt like, okay, my army is suitable. I'm starting to reach max. In fact, I have reached max, and now I'm just going to start uh, getting my economy up to the point where it will be almost impossible to starve that. Now, he is going to be getting some planetaries over on the side because he's going to need to have some built-in uh, defense there. Here, oh, my God, a huge EMP and a second one going down. Almost every single Protoss unit losing its entirety of the shield, but they are going to continue to move forward. Some of those zealots just sitting back there, not wanting to engage in battle, and we do have several units moving forward. There's the nice blink for the surround. And it's Charge finally wow. finishes in that entire battle. No charge at all. Might end up costing or in control that entire battle. Select continuing to reinforce yeah. in control despite having a huge 2-2 upgrade. Select 
is just a little too overwhelming. In control, 25 seconds until that charge would finish. But as we see, 25 seconds is a lifetime. All those zealots obliterated without dealing any damage. In control, trying to warp in more, knows that zealots are excellent, excellent units against marauders. But in control, definitely in an atrocious spot. We see that Select is doubling in control's food and now going to build some planetary fortresses in the middle for any sort of emergency backup defense. Yeah, and that means you must be feeling real comfortable about what's going on. A lot of those units from Select were in the red, but as you mentioned, not having that charge is going to be a huge deficit for him. Going to be throwing some DTs into the mix now, possibly go around and do a little bit of harassment with those. We've got plus three, plus three on the way, and uh, also some Archons morphing in here, some more Immortals coming out as well, and right now we do see more DTs starting to head around the map get any sort of damage down that they possibly can. Don't see any, uh, there's one tower here at this expansion, not one into the northeast quite yet, and that DT will start hacking away here at that planetary. There's the scan. Planetary should be able to clean it up. But it looks like there is no planetary fortress down here at this bottom expansion, but it looks like in control now finding some extra SCBs down here. The Dark Templar at the top right has been cleaned up, but how long until Select notices that he is losing that worker line? Relatively quickly, but still lost six workers, and we're seeing that it looks like Select just going to go for a big push. And here we go, we got the EMPs going off and everything, shields are completely knocked out. This time, the Zealots do have charge, they move forward to try to take out that front line, but the medevacs are hard at work, healing up all of these units. The mortals are going to get in position, but they will quickly be focused fire down, and the units are starting to deplete here for in control. It looks like Select will move forward and start to do some damage here to the core of in control's base. And it looks like in control saying, you're in my head for sure. Dominating me, Select gives the happy face, and of course these players, great friends, given the GG. Select advances on to the next round, in control, putting up a great fight, but Select just too aggressive, having such good timing with those attacks, and that's really consistently why people always state that they never want to play against Select in right. tournaments. It is so intimidating and rattling to play against someone that aggressive on the big stage. And as I mentioned before, it is really hard to imagine, Day, that uh, Select lost five games, uh, you know, when he is capable yeah. of playing oh, yeah. at such a high level. He really, really did look solid right there in control mm -hmm. in that last game. Had a few moments that, that really didn't work out for him. Of course, the Twilight Council going down, delayed his plan by a lot. Had to get it back up. That meant his plus two was late. He was getting blink. He eventually did get the charge. And you mentioned in that first engagement, it would have gone much differently had those zealots had charge. He did have quite a few out there. Now, granted, some absolutely pristine EMPs coming out by select. In fact, there was literally the blue was gone. There was no lightest blue. It was gone. But you still saw the in control lost that battle just by inches, about eight Marauders left over for Select at the end, and you just keep thinking, keep playing that what-if game. If he had just had that charge with Blink, he would have been able to overrun that army for sure, but that really goes to show why timing is so important, and you know, you're just trying to get a little bit ahead of the game, move out right before charge finishes, that it can cost you just to have that little window of time. Yep. So with that wrapping up, we're going to come bringing you more results from Losers Round 3. Don't go away. I'm Day9. And I'm DJ Wheat. We'll have more coming at you for Championship Sunday here at the 2011 MLG Pro Circuit in Columbus.